two men are dead and a police officer is hurt after an overnight crash. It happened at an intersection on US 17 and Palaka. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live at the crash site. Marilyn, any details on how the officer is doing tonight? No word yet, Janice, but I'm told the officer is still in the hospital after having serious injuries from that crash. And I want to take you here so you can see exactly what we're looking at. The rain sort of washed it up, but you can see tire marks starting from the middle of the road. Then it slowly makes its way, jumping the curb and onto the sidewalk. Those tracks remaining consistent until you can see it kind of ends where this building starts. And we're told that's where the officer's car was wedged up against. Now, now, if you take a look back over here to the intersection of 14th Street and US 17, there are several businesses surrounding where this crash happened. I went inside and spoke with a few people. They tell me they don't normally see crashes happen because it's coming out of a residential neighborhood. So last night's crash came as a surprise. This is seen video from a crash that killed two men and left a Palaka police officer with serious injuries. Florida Highway Patrol says just before 11 Friday night, the officer was driving east on Reed Street when a pickup truck with three people inside crossed in front of the officer. We're told the front of the officer's car hit the driver's side of the truck, causing it to flip on its side. You can see damage to the front end of the officer's vehicle. Troopers say the patrol car kept rolling and you can see it wedged up against the side of a building. Both the 56 year old driver and 46 year old passenger in the truck died in the crash. The 31 year old officer were told just shy of a year with Palatka police was sent to the hospital with serious injuries. Florida Highway Patrol says neither the officer nor the two men were wearing a seatbelt. There was also a 19 year old inside the truck when the crash happened. FHP says they were critically injured and taken to the hospital. Now FHP is investigating this crash, so any new information that comes in, we will update this story on newsforjax.com. We're live in Platka, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.